uh, CAMVETS meeting. We have Sal here as well. And uh, how was practice out there? How's it going, everyone? Um, it was good out there. Um, put the full pads on. Really starting to uh, get into our, you know, more in-season routine, um, more like a game week type schedule. Um, so it's good to throw the pads on. Um, good to be out there again with the guys after a day off yesterday, after the scrimmage this weekend. So, Ashley, what have you been focusing on in your preparation uh, this August season? Honestly, um, coming into coming into my new role, um, really, you know, just trying to talking to talking to the guys that have been there, um, really trying to get the system down, um, really just focusing on focusing on the fundamentals. Coach harps on that all the time, and. Uh, you know, right now, just trying to put it all together as the uh, season's coming around soon. And when you say a new role, what's uh, different uh, about uh, what you're going to be asked to do this year? Um, just playing outside linebacker now. And what did you play before? I was playing defensive end when I was uh, at, back at the prep school, freshman, sophomore year. So, Okay, very good. So you've been in, you got in 11 games last year, six tackles. Uh, was there a, a favorite moment for you last year? Um, hands down, not even, not even a defensive moment. Um, got, got, was fortunate enough to be on the, uh, on the, uh, field goal PAT team and, uh, got to be out there for those, uh, two field goals that Quinn put through in the Navy game. So that was definitely one of the highlights of my career just in general. Absolutely. And, uh, what was it like for you to affirm last week as a, as a junior, uh, to finish West Point and to, uh, commit to serve as a U.S. Army officer? Um, I mean, it's it's a day that I've known is going to come around at some point ever since I came here on Art at Use Maps. And uh, it was kind of surreal to be at, at that uh, huge milestone with all my guys that I remember, you know, meeting at the official visits and uh, coming into Art Day, doing two basic trainings with. It, it was a pretty surreal moment for all of us, but also um, it had never really hit, hit me like it did that day. Just everything we're committing to, talking to all the officers, and it, it was a really special and proud moment for me. Yeah, you know, very fine uh, speech by General Caslin. I had a chance to read, uh, former superintendent at West Point. Hey, Sal, you want you go ahead? Sure. Hey, Trey, how are you? I'm good. How are you, sir? Good. Um, have you? Um, I know it's getting closer to the first game. Have you envisioned what your first start or how excited you might be for your first start getting out there and uh, on defense? Well, um, you know, it's obviously it's been a dream of mine my entire life and um whenever that moment comes around I honestly I don't really know what it's going to be like I, I've gotten in the game a couple times my first time ever was one of the most chaotic moments of my life but you know just kind of getting more used to it and uh stepping into that role whenever it may come around um you know I'm, I'm excited for it can you talk more about the first time your first snap uh first snap uh was my plebe year we we're playing UConn at Mikey Stadium um Got to get in at, towards the end of the game for a couple of plays. So that, that was my first action I ever got. Nice. Um, have you – um you're playing basically the edge rush guy, right? I mean, the the, the dog that Andre played. Um, have do you have you watched a lot of his video or his film to, um, you know, get, get kind of see what the position is going to be like for you or – um, well, Andre is obviously a guy very successful at the position and uh, definitely like a mentor for the younger guys like me when in the program when he was here. Uh, he was he was my host on my official visit. So building that relationship with him was awesome. And uh, just watching the games um, from the previous seasons as we get into the game planning, um, seeing him out there, seeing what he did. It's you know, he's a great role model to look after. So. Gotcha. Is there that much? How much different is the that position to where you were playing? last year and what the responsibility was. Do you think it's that much of a difference or? Um, honestly, and honestly, not really. It's, it's, it's felt, it was, it was some, some things were a little uncomfortable at first, um, you know, just wasn't used to it, but um, having the entire spring ball to get more used to things, uh, you know, being with, being with Eric and JP over the summer, just uh, getting work in whenever we could. And uh, now coming into fall camp, going into the season, um, I, I don't think it was too much difference for me, but you know, I'm, I'm really excited for the role and I'm excited to see what, but what our room does is what we do this year. Appreciate it. Yes, sir. Great. Maybe a final thought uh, this year, uh, Coach Munkin and Coach Woody talked about emphasis on stopping the run. Uh, what does that mean to you? What 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 are you going to be trying to do in, in to help stop running plays? Um, I, I think it's just a huge 
part of our part of our just culture as a football team. You know, we always want to be the tougher football team. We always want to stop the run. And, uh, you know, I think we're always preparing to do that. And I think it's a it, it's always a big emphasis we got. So I'm, I'm excited to do what I can to contribute to that. Very good. Trey, good to see you. Good to see you, too. Thank you. Sal. Thanks, Trey. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thanks. Have a good.